Hi, my name is Michael and welcome to today's lesson, Basic R-Sync Backup Overview. This is the first of five lessons that will teach you how to set up a successful R-Sync backup. So what is R-Sync? Simply put, R-Sync is a program used to synchronize data between two locations via the internet. The advantage of using R-Sync is that since a checksum is performed, only the parts of files which have changed will be transferred, not the entire file. R-Sync also compresses all data packets and further reduces transfer overheads. One limitation is that R-Sync backups are not recommended for users who require backups of large files on a regular basis. For example, system images such as .vhd files or large SQL databases that are renamed after every backup. Even with very fast connections, R-Sync is not suitable for this purpose. For a more in-depth look at R-Sync and how it works, please download our white paper from the following address. Backup Assist comes packaged with all the R-Sync libraries necessary to transfer data to either a hosted or privately owned R-Sync server during a backup. Today we'll be discussing in broad terms what is required to perform a basic R-Sync backup. So let's begin. To avoid confusion, let's first define what we mean by the following terms. Data host. This is simply a remote machine on which you store your data. RSync client. This is a machine that contains your working data, typically a file server that has backup assist installed. RSync server. The data host becomes the RSync server once the RSync programs are installed. The rsync server accepts incoming connections as well as data from the rsync clients. There are four steps required to perform a successful rsync backup. 1. First, we need to set up our rsync server. We do this by finding a computer with Windows Server 2000 or later installed. Next, we need to download and install two programs, COP SSH and CW rsync server. Two. Once these programs have been installed, we need to activate a user within the COP SSH control panel. 3. After our rsync server has been set up, we need to set up our rsync client using Backup Assist and create our first rsync backup job. 4. Finally, we need to seed our first full backup, which usually contains large volumes of data. We will go into more detail for each of these steps in the following video lessons. But for now, it's enough to understand the general concept, and most importantly, the order in which we proceed with each step. So, it's that simple. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson, Basic R-Sync Backup Overview. In the next lesson, we'll walk you through setting up your R-Sync server by installing COP SSH and CW R-Sync server. Bye for now.